Hey guys, it's Effie. It's about 11, and I thought, what better time to do my weird book haul. Let's get started. Let's do it. You can see them. The first book I have is one that came out like last Tuesday or so, and I haven't read it yet. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. This is the sequel to The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, Adier which I loved. This is just going to look so nice on my shelf, and I'm kind of in a slump right now. But that's fine, I'll get out of it. This might be the book that gets me out of the slump. Next book I got in April was one that has a movie coming out quite soon with Amelia Clark, who's my hero. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. And I'm so excited to read this. I've heard it's like totally devastating, but also totally amazing. Oh my god. It looks like an easy read. The next book came out quite a while ago. It came out around the time that the new Twilight book came out. I remember because, um, Christine from Poland Bananas Books made a video and it came out on the same day. I think every middle grade author should be Rick Riordan. And that's The Sword of Summer, which is the first book in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series, which is another mythological series that Rick Riordan has made. And there's so many series he's written that I didn't actually know about. He came and visited my school in fifth grade and you'd think I would have read every single one of his books as they came out, but I didn't and I need to get on that. The next book is one that I am so excited to read and I wanted to read this book since I read Carry On because I think what she did was a genius and that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because she wrote Carry On about the story she wrote in here and it's it's crazy. The next book I bought, I bought for school but hey I still acquired a book and that's a separate piece by John Knowles. You can already tell I've been reading it because my highlight is in there and I'm reading this for school but I'm hoping I'll like it anyway because sometimes I actually like school books. The next book I got is one that I've been meaning to get forever and ever and ever and for some reason I just kind of haven't. It's won a bunch of prizes and it's supposed to be absolutely amazing and beautiful and that's Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe. But I finally picked it up. I ordered it. I ordered like five books on Amazon with my Easter money. I'm so excited to read this. It's supposed to be beautiful and amazing and uplifting and I'm, I'm ready. The next book is another one I've been meaning to read for about a thousand years and I couldn't find it in hardcover at Barnes & Noble. Actually, I couldn't find it anywhere in Barnes & Noble. The Kids of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I am ecstatic that I got this book and it's as pretty as I was hoping it would be and it's in hardcover. The next one is yet another I've been meaning to read forever. And this is one that they didn't have in hardcover at Barnes & Noble and they only have the paperback of like this entire series. And it's so ugly in paperback, I think. I just think it's so much prettier in hardcover. And that's Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I have honestly heard nothing but good things about this series and I am ready to read it for myself because I love reading books. The next one is one I'm very, very excited for and I'm, it's the third in the series and I'm ready to continue on the series and I'm almost caught up with the series and I'm so, so excited. And, and it's Air Fire by Sarah J. Maas. I had doubts about the Throne of Glass series and then I read it and I don't have doubts anymore. I'm loving it. It's amazing. And I'm ready to read this one and then go read Queen of Shadows and then Empire Storms is coming out September 6th as of now. And they have two books left. I went a little crazy this month, but that's okay. Um, this one I know nothing about. I saw it in Barnes & Noble and I thought it was beautiful. And my dad and I had some money to spend. It's burning a hole in our pockets. So we spent it and I think it's about witches. I think it's about something like, I think it's just about the witch trials. And that is The Passion of Dulce by Julie Berry. Uh, this is a very recent release, I think. I don't know how I didn't know about it, but it's beautiful. Even if I don't like it, I'm glad I have it. And I'm hoping to get to this pretty soon. It looks like a pretty easy read, but again, next month is going to be absolutely crazy. I have exams, and so I could either read like everything or I could read nothing. The last book I have is by Cinda Williams Chima. And I've heard amazing things about her books. She writes a lot of middle grade books and I just wasn't feeling that right now because I read a kind of crappy middle grade book this month and I was really sad because I like middle grade books just as much as the next person. And that is Flamecaster. This is also a very recent release. I just saw it in Barnes & Noble for the first time. I am so excited for all these books. So let's count them. I have so many. So that's all for my We Are Hours of the Night book haul. And announcement as to my May TBR. If it happens, it's going to be pretty late. Uh, again, I think I've mentioned this a couple times in this video. Uh, I have exams this month and I have a lot of crazy stuff. If it happens, it might be next week, it might be at the end of May. I don't know. It might happen, it might not. 
we're gonna play this by ear. So that's all for my We Are the Benite book haul. I'm Effie, I make videos every weekend and I post book talks whenever I can. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me because I think I'm cool. I mean, who doesn't like books? Okay, bye!